This is session 19, learning to export spectra, heats, and tables. First, we'll export the summary at a percent table from a survey scan. We'll come up here to X in, export import. We'll export the table as we're, it's a CSV or a text file. It will just be the summary table, not the full at a percent table. So this time we're going to export just the at a percent summary. And previous version has been saved. So summary at a percent table. In this case, yes, overwrite. And then we want to uh, export the full at a percent table. What is the full at a percent table? Uh, let's go up here, and now you can see this is the full at a percent table. Okay, we can organize it in different ways. I think. Now we want to export that full table, and we've done that before, so we just select full at a percent table, overwrite the one that's there. In a moment, we'll show you the results of this exporting. Uh, next, we want to export a um, IRS scan. We're going to get rid of the atom percents here. It doesn't matter, but it's easier to see. So select export. Okay. Export peak fit table. So we're going to export the peak fit table. Export the peak fit table. And Make sure you type TXT after it. And we say yes. And next thing we want to export is the actual data. The data can be import then after it's exported, you can uh, import it into Excel, Kaleidograph, uh, uh, various uh, graphing softwares. Okay, so you can polish it and make it look uh, exactly as you like. We're exporting the peak fit data this time. Again, don't forget TXT at the end. Save it for overriding is there. All right, and the last thing to export, if you want to, you can export the whole data file. Uh, and then we can export it as an ASCII file, one of the old style from the SSI days binary, uh, the old SSI binary, the VAMAS format, which is fairly common and it's good for interchanging between all the machines out there, the Kratos machine, the Fine machine, uh, the v old VG machines, um, so it's a useful. It also allows you to see the uh, parameters that are saved. Okay, all right. So that's all we're going to export. Let's take a look at the results that we have exported, the actual um, data tables. Look in here in view. And let's double click on this. So you can see now the table. Uh, it needs a little uh, correction as far as alignment goes, not too much. If you export it into Excel, it would up just neatly. So this is what it looks like, the full atom percent table. No, we don't want to save any changes. Then we want to see the peak fit date. Uh, this looks rather complicated. It is. You need to export this or paste this into an Excel spreadsheet. And I'll show you what happens after you do that. Okay, here is Example, let's get it down to size. Here on the left are the numbers, okay? And here on the right, you can see the actual spectra. Oops, a little too far. This is one format when you export it. The other format just flips it around and now we can change the line thicknesses, the dots, and many things you can do. Here it is showing the sequential numbering. 
So in this case, it shows the bidding party, the actual binding entity. So either way you go, um, you might have to do some flipping. All right. So I got taken care of our import and export training session. Thank you very much.